what's up beauties welcome back to another video i'm sorry i've been gone i apologize but i'm back and i'm showing you guys how to slay the easy way um with today's natural look it's kind of like a light glam and this can be your everyday look i love it so much so if you're interested stay tuned hope you enjoy that's good First things first, start off with a clean face and then we're going to go right into the tutorial. Um, I like to start off with my brows first because to me it kind of just shows me, it's kind of like a map and I know exactly where to go after I do my brows. I don't know, it's just a creature, I'm just a creature of habit. So I start off with my brows, I brush them um, and smoothing them, get them in the direction that I need them to go. And then I love this brow pencil because it is so precise, it does not cake up and it stays all day. I love it so much. This is from Ivis Beauty. If you're interested in getting 15% off your entire purchase, you can click uh, the link in the description box below and put in our promo code Riley and Angie 2 and you will get 15% off your entire purchase. They have eyeliners, they have awesome color contacts, hits. Uh, the little snippet of me showing you guys one of the colors. Stay tuned. And then I'm going to now go right in with the Pro Concealer by LA Colors. I love their concealer. It's so pigmented and it helps the eyeshadow pop. And so I put this right underneath the brow and give it the kind of the arch that I like. It's all about your preference. If you like a more sharper look, then you will go a little more sharper with the concealer. If you like a more um, less harsh look, then you'll go in with a smoothing kind of stroke. Does that make any sense? And so this is kind of how I like mine. It's like a boxed and curved look. And so I'm just going to take a little brush and blend it. I don't remember the name of this brush. But nonetheless, I'm just going to blend and blend and blend. This is key. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite foundation. The only problem with this foundation is when I got color match when I was in New York. I think she gave me a too light of a color. So I'm going to blend this with my typical um, everyday matte poreless fit me foundation in 355 um, I love 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 the combo because Fenty Beauty foundation is very uh, drying it dries really really fast but it feels so light on the face so I'm gonna blend these together and this is gonna kind of give me a more um, closer to my skin tone I did take it back um, because I was just too lazy and I didn't mind mixing the combination but I honestly love Fenty Beauty like I had a scar on my face and I put that on there and it's like literally you can't even see it was like dark I done picked that and everything <laughs> and then now I'm gonna go with my revolution cut crease canvas uh, eyeshadow primer y'all I tried all kinds of eyeshadow primers all the other ones crack they cake up and they're not to my liking this right here you just dab it in as you can see I'm using my fingers because I like how it smooths it out much better and I'm just gonna dab it in and this is gonna really 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 make your stuff pop so I just used the same brush that I used to blend my concealer because I want to kind of get it even toned and I'm just going to now go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette y'all. It's dirty y'all. This is, you can see it's my go-to palette honey. And I'm going to go in with that color and I just apply it onto the lid. Um, I would recommend dabbing it into your eyelid because this right here is going to give you that nice little pigmented color. Now, I didn't use a lot because I'm trying to go for a more natural look. Any other day, I would go crazy with the color. Now, on to the most exciting part of this tutorial. This is my own lash line, Flusa Cosmetics, y'all. I love my own lashes, of course, um, because you can wear these up to 26 times, 100% mink lashes cruelty free and this is mac and mommy purchase you some lashes the link to my uh, lash line will be in the description box below um i have a sale by two get the third one free just place all three lashes that you want into the basket apply the promo code and you will get the uh third one free now as you can see the glue that i use is definitely hair glue i would recommend using an actual eyelash glue but this works for me i never ever had any reactions or any issues but if you're sensitive and you're skeptical I would not recommend using that I would recommend using a eye um, lash glue a real eyelash glue then I'm gonna put mascara onto my natural lash as you guys seen just to kind of uh, bring them forth because some of the eyeshadow drops down and they look ashy then I'm gonna apply a thin layer onto my lashes Mac and Mommy the style Mac and Mommy I love 
this style. This is one of my favorites. They are my favorite. Of course, they're my babies. And so um, I am now letting it dry. Then I place the other lash on now. Shop my lashes, honey. You can wear them up to 26 times. And now I'm applying concealer. Um, this is also the pro concealer that you've seen in the previous clips by LA Colors. And I love this concealer so much. Like, I haven't found a concealer that is good as this. It does not crack for me. Um, it definitely is pigmented, and it does the job. So I'm going to apply it down the bridge of my nose, underneath my eye area, and um, underneath my nose, and my chin area. I don't apply it on my forehead, but I do spread it about on my forehead. And I'm now blending in with the same brush I used to apply my concealer and all of that. I just love it this brush because it just does the job and so I'm just blending it in and then this is revolution baking powder and I love this baking powder so 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 much and you see the words have worn off and I'm going to use a brush to apply this I'm sorry y'all I do not know the name of these brushes at all like I'm the type of person if I find one brush here I'll buy it if I find another brush here I'll buy it the words get wore off and all of that but I apologize I will be purchasing a brush set I actually just ordered one on Amazon um, so that you guys can know exactly what brushes I'm using and so sorry but just find any brush that looks similar like that girl honey okay so I'm baking now just kind of dabbing it into my skin going down the bridge of my nose now it's very important to put this baking powder on every part where you have applied concealer because you have to set it or it will move then I'm gonna take a light little brush and kind of like dust it and kind of blend it in so it doesn't look as like ashy and harsh uh, this part is key as well and then I'm gonna go in with a sculpting brush and go back to my Jaclyn Hill palette that is clearly all kinds of messed up and I'm gonna go in with these two colors and this is what I use to contour my face I love these colors so much so I just kind of dab the sculpting brush and I'm now going to go to the outer corners and work my way in um, on both sides of my cheeks down the bridge of my nose underneath my chin at the tip of my nose and around the base of my forehead and I'm going to show you guys how I do just that that I just used in the previous clip and I'm just gonna kind of dab that in and kind of work that in just to get rid of the harsh lines um, I also use my NYX uh, matte bronzer I love this bronzer I use this as a uh, setting powder for my entire face um, I love how it gives me like a bronze look makes me look tan and golden and it just really enhances my uh, brown skin and I love it so much and so I'm just kind of dabbing it. I'm, watch how I'm not going on top of the um, baking powder. I'm only going in the areas that are darker. Then I'm going to use this highlighter. You all, I bought this um, at this place in the mall before I got married. And literally do not know the name. Y'all going to have to forgive me, okay? Y'all going to have to forgive me. I don't know the name of, of where I got it from because it has worn off. So I apologize, I'm going to do better, okay, I'm going to do better. Then I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Super Fan, fanned out mascara, honey. I love this mascara, it is so dramatic but subtle at the same time. And I do this at the bottom, my bottom lashes, and I do this at the top before I apply my falsies. Y'all, I'm addicted to lining my lips, honey. So I'm going to use this, it's actually like a brown Again, I use these products so much that the stuff uh, rubs off and I cannot tell you where it's from. But I would just recommend getting any type of brown uh, pencil if you like brown or whatever color you prefer. I love the way the brown looks when I line it. So I'm just lining my lips. Just look at this. Look at the transformation. Like how it just pops. Gives my lip a nice pop. Then I'm going to go in with my Fenty Lip Gloss in Fenty Gold. This is my favorite lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. 
and I use that uh, after I've lined my lips and it just look at this it's just yes honey like I have to have this lip gloss at all times and then last but not least I'm going to use my NYX matte finish um, spray it's a setting spray and it kind of gives you a matte finish um, but not a drying look and as you can see it just kind of brings everything together this is very key I would not recommend spraying water on your face but you can use rose water in um, place of this but I wouldn't recommend using water I heard a lot of people tell me they use water to set their face and I'm like no that's a bad idea I love these contacts uh, from Iris Beauty in the color Glam Gray. They are so comfortable. It's like you can, I don't even feel anything in my eyes. They're so smooth. The packaging is adorable. They come in a box and they also come with storage trays and instructions on how to keep them. I love them so much. Um, I'm just, I love them. Thank you so much Iris Beauty for sponsoring this video. I also have uh, the eyebrow pencil and the eyeliner. So definitely go get you some and stay tuned because I'm going to tell you how you can get 15% off your entire purchase. I already know we hook you guys up always when we get awesome things. So we have a coupon code for 15% off your entire purchase, Raleigh and Angie too, and you will get 15% off. Go get you some contact. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Everything I use for the tutorial, for the makeup, and the link to the contacts.